Welcome to this Black Pill Music School video all about the tenor guitar. This is not a ukulele, it is a tenor guitar. It's a four stringed instrument. You will notice the strings run low to high. And there are various tunings. You can tune it like a ukulele, a mandolin, a mandola. There's Irish tune and Chicago tune. But for this video, we are tuned in fifths, in fives. C to G. G to D. And D to A. You will notice if you play two strings that are next to each other going down, they sound like the first two notes of a popular science fiction film. Now for this video we will be learning some George Formby techniques on the tenor guitar. So, let's get started. If you've seen the previous video, we were covering George Formby's split stroke on the tenor guitar. In this video, we'll be covering the fan stroke. For a more detailed explanation, I'll post a link at the end of this video to the ukulele version. Uh, the chords may change and the tuning may change, but the right hand technique stays the same. So, if you find that video more useful, go to that one. But the techniques is the right hand in this video. We're only going to be using one chord, and it's the C chord. The C chord, this is the knot, these are frets going down. It is the third fret of the bottom string and the second fret of the string above it. That is the only chord we'll be using in this video. So, let's get started. First of all, let me demonstrate what the fan stroke is. I should say, this is the strum George Formby did when he wasn't singing. This wasn't his singing strum. This is when he was doing all the flash on the ukulele. And it looks something like this. <laughs> And I'm sure you all remember that type of strum. It is not as hard as it first looks, it just requires a bit of practice and I've known people spend many weeks, months and years learning it. But give it a go because it does add a bit of flash when you're taking a solo. So for this video we're going to be using these fingers mainly. The little finger, the first finger, your pointy finger and your thumb. Little finger, pointy finger and thumb. We are going that when we are playing in eighths. We go down with the little finger, keeping the thumb above the string so we can go down with the thumb, then up with the first finger. You may notice my other fingers are moving around, but they're not playing, it is only these three. Down with the little finger, down with the thumb, up with the first. It's very important when you go down with the little finger, your thumb remains above, so it can go down then up. So it So it's two of them. Little finger, thumb, first finger. Little finger, thumb, first finger. So there's two of them and then a down up. I know it looks like I'm using other fingers but I really am only using these three. So down with the little finger, down with the thumb, up with the first, repeat that, down with the little finger, down with the thumb, up with the first, then down, up, and a down, up motion with the first finger. finger, down with the thumb, up with the first finger, down, up, to one and two and three and four and. So one bar will be, that's one bar to one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two. We can apply this to the 12 bar blues. So one bar or one letter written down below would be 
that's one bar. Down, down with the little finger, down with the thumb, up with the first finger. Down with the little finger, down with the thumb, up with the first finger, down, up. That is one bar. So you can apply these techniques to the 12 bar blues. So the 12 bar blues would sound something like this. And that would be the 12 bar blues using a George Formby fan stroke technique. Like I said, I'll post a link to the end of this video to my version of this on the ukulele. The chords and the tuning may be different, but the right hand technique is the same. If you've enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Blackpool Music School for more videos. The more thumbs up we get and the more comments we get and the more subscribers we get, the more videos we will post. So until next time, take care, keep playing, and as always, goodbye.